moment that, uh, that we've been planning for for weeks, possibly months on end. All right, Danny Rudnick is a chemistry student down here at the U of I. A few years ago, Andy Dallas decided to get tied up into a bag and go underwater and escape from that bag. That is extremely, extremely dangerous. All right, it goes all the way back to the days of Harry Houdini when Harry Houdini would get locked in a water torture cell, a huge glass box, almost like a coffin, and he would escape. Or he would get chained and manacled and thrown in a frozen river, and he would escape. Those things are all extremely dangerous. Do not try any of those things on your own. But here today, we are going to attempt an underwater escape for your pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Rudnick, our escape artist for today. All right, well, Chris, could you help uh, Danny get tied up while we uh, while we get some music started here? And uh, they're just going through a little process where they're going to tie him up, get everything. Uh, There's a piece of rope, braided cotton steel, tied tightly around the wrist with not one but two knots. Now as the rope gets wet in this underwater escape, it will swell, making it almost impossible to escape from. Oh, he's opting to do it behind the back. In rehearsals, we'd only done this with his hands tied in front of him. Tied tightly by the second vice president of the Society of American Magicians. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we told you that this would be an underwater escape, so we do have to protect Danny. I think he needs some goggles so that he can see just in case things don't go quite right. Very good. Very good. All right. Now, we told you this was going to be an underwater escape, which means we need some, we need some protection. And we also need the water. So, Danny, we're going to put you right here. Perfect. Right there. Our underwater... Escape. <laughs> All right. We also have protection in case things don't go right. These guys will break the glass. All right. Danny, yeah. stick your head up. Take a deep breath above the water. Very good. You let me know when you're ready. All right. The clock has begun. He's struggling. He's struggling. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Appears to have a little water in his eyes. Can't quite see. Things aren't quite clearly. Are those restraints tied tight? I think they are. I think they are. This is getting treacherous. This is getting dangerous. You need another breath. <laughs> he's struggling. He's struggling. I think he's running out of breath. Oh my gosh. We're getting there. We're getting there. I don't know. I don't know if he can do this. Guys, are you ready with the axes? Are you ready with the axes? He's only got about 10 seconds. No, not yet. He's not ready. He's, not, he's struggling. Check your watches, guys. Anybody have a watch out there? Hey, hey he's done. Hey, I want a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Rudnick, our escape artist. How about another big round of applause for Chris Bondis? Steven